Hello everyone. Let's see the introduction for CATIA. So here we are using CATIA V5. V5 is nothing but we are using V5 version. So usually in CATIA we are having V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. So latest V6 also available now. So but maximum industries will be using here V5. So here CATIA stands for Computer Aided Three Dimensional Interactive Application. So this is the standard form of CATIA and CATIA was developed by Dazzled Systems. So Dazzled System is a company which is invented of CATIA. So now let's enter into CATIA and let's see the customization of CATIA design and we will start with basic modelings in detail. Now let's enter into CATIA design. So once if you click on CATIA, so interface will open like this. Now as you can see here, just this pop-up will close. Then once if you enter into CATIA design, directly we will be entering under product. Your product is nothing but assembly design. It means whenever we are going to open CATIA software, directly it will enter into assembly design. So first we need to close that by using file and just we will close it here. Then so to enter into new thing, just you can click on start menu. As you can see already we have created shortcuts. If you are missing how to create the shortcuts, you can just watch shorts which we have uploaded in our channel. Now let me enter into here new part design. Let's say OK. Then here we are able to give part name. I'll keep it as part number one and just say OK. Then this top border we call it as title bar and this bar we call it as menu bar. Then this we call it as toolbars means in toolbars we will be having again different type of options. Then this display we call it as specification tree. So what is the use of this specification tree means whatever the options we are going to perform in future everything it will be represented in tree display here. So we call it as specification tree. Then this we call it as axis system. Usually we will be having two type of axis systems in CATIA. So to change this axis system from absolute axis to planar axis and planar to absolute just you can watch out some shots which we have already uploaded in our channel. Then here we will be having some options and whatever the area we are having here in blue color that we call it as model area. It means wherever we are going to design entire model this area we call it as model area or graphical area. Then this one you can see here this part we call it as 3D compass. So what is the use of this 3D compass means you are able to move the part from one place to another place like this and you are able to rotate the part and mainly it is used in assembly design to move the part from one place to another place by using this 3D compass. So just we can use this 3D compass in that way. Then this toolbars as you can see here for different workbenches we will be using different toolbars. By mistake if you have closed these toolbars. So to restore all toolbars at a time you can go for tools then customize just it will take time for loading. Then we can go here with toolbars make it here restore all contents say OK restore position say OK and just close it as you can see all toolbars will be restored into CATIA design which is related to part design here. Now we can arrange these toolbars in a proper sequence. So once if I drag here this entire toolbars we are able to get vertical position. If you want to convert this horizontally just you can hold shift and you can drag and keep it wherever you want these toolbars like this. So just let me arrange properly. Then next this one. Then this one. So these are the toolbars we are going to use in part design of CATIA design. Now let me enter into here new sketcher first. Sketcher is nothing but 2D diagrams. Now first we will start with the 2D sketches. Then we will go for 
part designs again one by one we can carry out from this now as you can see we are having one axis system and for this axis system we are having here x axis y axis and z axis so here we are having three planes so this we call it as front plane then this is top plane this is side plane now for example if you want to enter into new sketcher as you can see here sketch option will be available so just we will click on sketch then we need to select the plane on which plane we need to enter into sketch now let me create one sketch on this front plane just i will click on this front plane then as you can see all the sketcher options are available here now in sketcher we are going to use all these toolbars so first we'll start here with sketch tools toolbar then next to that profile toolbar constraints toolbar operation toolbar tools toolbar visualization toolbar so one by one we will see now now let me start here with sketch tools toolbar in that first option we are having here grid so just if i turn off this whatever the background horizontal and vertical lines are there we are able to hide like this then snap to point option will be there what is meant by this snap to point means let's say for example i need to create one line if i try to start a line we are able to start from wherever i want now let's see for example if i turn on here snap to point and if i try to start a line i am able to start line exactly at end point of the grid and i am able to end exactly at end point of the grid so that is the use of snap to point when it is turned on you are able to draw any profile exactly with reference to end point of this grid lines so that's why always we will keep it this turned off then next one you are having here construction or standard element so what is meant by this construction or standard element means let's say for example we have created one line here so this line we need to convert into construction if i click on construction that line will be converted into construction element again if you want to convert into normal select the same thing turn off the option here so we can convert this into normal one then next we are having here geometrical constraints and dimensional constraints now let me delete these two lines just i'll create one line if i am trying to start a line it is showing in blue color so if it is showing in blue it is like a straight line and if it is showing in white it is a not a straight line now let me create one line here as you can see here it is showing h horizontal now if i turn on here geometrical constraints same line if i create in blue color also here it is not showing h it means it is not a horizontal line but this is a horizontal line so that is the use of this geometrical constraints same related to dimensions this dimensional constraint option will be there always we need to turn on these two options then next to that we'll start here with profile toolbar so in profile toolbar first option we are having here profile so profile is nothing but by using this you are able to create line and you are able to create a tangent arc and you are able to create three point arc let me start from somewhere here so just we are able to draw lines either it may be inclined line or horizontal or vertical line then along with this line we are able to draw continuous tangent arc if i click on tangent arc you are able to get here tangent arc for that profile then along with that you are able to create here three point arc also so just if i click on here first point already selected then second point is here third point is here so like that you are able to use this profile option now if you want to come out of this selected option we will be having here three options one is you can use escape or else you can click on the same option or else you can click on here select option now just i'll click here that option will be ended up to there so like this we can create here profile option then so before going to start with any sketcher or any model so mouse operations are very important how to zoom in or zoom out with the mouse 
are is directly here options are available for us so by using these options also you can make it customization of this zoom in zoom out of screens as you can see if screen is somewhere like this if you want to make exactly center of the screen you can use here fit all in once if i click here it will come exactly center of the screen second we are having here pan by using this you are able to move the sheet from one place to another place like this and you are able to adjust this screen then we are having here rotate option by using that you are able to rotate the model then by using this you can zoom in and zoom out the model then here it is rotated so again we need to make the sketch exactly with the proper orientation to our screen in that case you can use here normal view it will come straight to the screen then remaining options will be used in part design so while dealing with part we can see this in sketcher we are able to use only these options so next to that we are having here different type of rectangular profiles so as you can see first rectangle we are having here so just you can select first end point and second end point and you can create one rectangle like this then dimension for this all parameters we will give by using this constraint so later in next tutorial we are going to see this constraints then next to that we are having here oriented rectangle so by using three points you are able to create one oriented rectangle for that first point second point and third point i'll select this or is with inclination also you are able to create like this then parallelogram we are having so let me create one parallelogram like this either you want this side or this side just we'll create this shapes then next to that we are having here elongated hole so to create elongated hole i will click here first point second point then how much dimension you want directly by default we will get radius for this elongated hole profile if you want to modify dimension just a double click on that and you are able to give how much you want like this then next we are going to see here cylindrical elongated hole so to create cylindrical elongated hole first we need to start from center point then from where you want to start starting point up to where you want ending point then what is the radius we want just we can keep this cylindrical elongated hole like this then keyhole profile will be there just let me click on keyhole profile first point then second point small circle dimension then bigger circle dimension like this so if you want to change any modification for this dimension double click and change it how much you want then hexagon is there hexagon will be having six sides directly you can draw this hexagon profile like this then one more we are having here centered rectangle by using center point you are able to create one rectangle like this then next to that we are having here centered parallelogram so to create centered parallelogram directly we can't create wherever we want so if you want to use this centered parallelogram we need proper reference elements now let me select this and let me select this you are able to get one parallelogram this line will be parallel to this again this line will be parallel to this so if you want to create here centered parallelogram we need existing reference elements so like that we can create this rectangular options so just we are going to see how to use that options and how to create the profiles